What's up traders, three trades today. Don't forget about the Friday night live stream as well for all the high level support members. That's the little join button down next to the subscribe button. We have the first Saturday night live stream as well for this month, get two of those a month. If you want to participate in that, just hit the join button, hit the high level support and I'll see you tomorrow night. But we will also be here tonight for the Friday night live stream. Also giveaway gift card thingamajigger from Amazon is in this video. So go find it. Make sure you watch this thing all the way through. It's going to be hidden somewhere. Let's get to it. Watch an SPAQ would like this near the highs. Here we go. See if we can get up towards 18. There we go. Start it. Oh, bad fill. Got 75 there. Thought we were hitting it over 90. Sorry, right, just a starter here. When we zoomed out, it was very. It was a 50 cent scale, not 25 cent. We zoomed back in so we could see a little bit better. So that's why we started here with the smaller share size. Let's see if we can come back down here and test that previous resistance right under 17.50. Put the order out here for 75 percent. At 44, looking for this 50 flush. There we go, got the fill for that. So we got our remaining shares. Gonna look for these to head back towards low a day. Looking at the daily on this thing, it's really extended. So if we could get some kind of fade for the rest of the day, that would be pretty nice. We found some support here at VWAP. Not really looking to let this thing go back through 50. If it does, got a feeling this is gonna head back up towards high of day. There it is. All right, yeah, we're just gonna take it off there. We actually ended up getting 50 for our fill. Now the odds are this thing bounced off VWAP. Um, this thing's super strong if you look at it from yesterday. Uh, it's it's definitely got some places to go if it really wants to. Watch an SPAQ. It did end up going back high of day. Let's see if we can get up through 1850. We'll start it with a little bit more share size. Um, I realized it actually isn't moving. Because I thought this thing would rip straight up towards 19 if we broke through 18. But as you can see, um, it's it's holding a little bit of a tighter range today. It just made such a big move from yesterday. So the scale was so much smaller or bigger, I should say. It was a 50 cent scale. And I was just being safe with it. That's why we didn't make too much on it on that first trade. Here we go. See if we can get up to 18.50. Really looking for this to break now since we did get that little pullback back to 18 because that's what we would have been looking for on the initial break. So I'd really like to see this go through. Here we go, 1850. Uh, doesn't want to break. All right, we're probably going to miss this one. I really wanted that 1850 break. Watching SAV here, SAVE here through the half dollar. Here we go. Coming up to yesterday's high. Nice little extension here away from that previous resistance it had there around 1630. I'm going to start this 53. Ultimately looking down under 16 is what we're looking at here. It did have a little pause there on the way up, but that previous resistance all the way down there under 16 is what we're looking for here. Popping through, we're right at yesterday's highs. I'd like to see this up towards like 1680. Be looking for an ad there. But I'm more so looking for the backside as well for my ads. Any sign of the backside. Watching NCLH here as well. We're going to start that. It's pretty much the same exact move that SAVE is making here. We just got a little bit better first entry. Let's go full screen here. That way we can see both of these trades all at the same time. Watch an SAVE here for an ad. All right, we're gonna get an ad here, 52. Also watching NCLH, we're gonna get the ad there as well. Like I said, these are kind of trading the same, so it would make sense to kind of add in the same spot. Obviously our entry on NCLH is a little bit better than SAVE. Coming down to our take profit here on NCLH. We're sitting at 57. It tried 60 there. Coming back down, 63, 62, 61, 60. Saw 59 for a second. Coming down, see if we can get that 57. Not quite. So we're going to take it off there. Keeps trying to hold up here at 60. 
We ended up getting 63 for 75% of our position. There it goes, 58, 57 on the bid. Don't know if we would have got it. Let's see if it, 57's on the ask. We definitely would have got it. Still never saw it. So would have been interesting to see if we would have got that fill. Sitting over here on SAVE, we're looking for that 50 flush coming down to it, 1641. We actually did get under 50 for a second, but we didn't get down towards our order. Our average is a little bit worse over there. So we're really looking for a little bit more out of it. So we failed to go higher here. I'm going to look to add one last time here on SAVE. We're actually going to double our shares if we do. I'm liking it. I'm going to hit it there, 1654. It's looking pretty heavy here. Looking like we're going to come down and get back through 50. We'll look to take our 75% at that same area. Let's get the order ready. There we go. We'll cancel this one. Put this one in. Why is it not working? Oh, there we go. Hit the wrong button. All right, we're coming down to 50. See if we can get down there and test 41. That'll be for 75% of our position. We already got our lock over here on NCLH. We're just kind of seeing if these want to ride back down towards 1550. Uh, VWAP is there as well. There we go, through 50 here on SAVE. 43, 41, we're on the bid. And there we go, got our lock here on SAVE. That was a little frustrating. It kept trying over and over again. It kept getting the 43, but finally we got that push down. I want to keep my stop at 71 here on SAVE, but this is looking very bullish at the moment. We've seen this pattern a lot. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take it here. Um, it's starting to U up. It's making the higher lows. It's looking like it wants to maybe go up there and test high of day. But if you look over at NCLH, this thing is actually still giving us a descending triangle type pattern. So we're a little bit more optimistic here than SAVE. They decided to kind of go different directions here for a little bit. So we tried to come down there and test the close from yesterday. Didn't quite get there. We were looking for this to try to go back down towards low of day. But I started trailing this, basically just looking for the first candle to kind of make a new high here. So it puts us at 44. Probably could get away with keeping our stop up there at 1557 area over VWAP, over the EMAs, um, all that mumbo jumbo up there. But a um, couple bottom bottoming tails here. Some volume came in. That's usually a sign of a reversal. So there we go. So we got stopped out. We were just looking for this to... Um, kind of pay us. We didn't want to let it come all the way down here and then end up getting filled up where our first fill was. So uh, I'll be happy with the trade. All right, traders, that was my three trades. Did you see the gift card? It was in there. Did you see it? Did you see it? Okay, go back, look for it, and then come back if you want to watch the review. If not, I'll see you tonight. If not, I will have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday, but I'm going to go ahead and do the recap now. So uh, first trade was SPAQ. SPAQ, this thing, oh, look at it now. It went high of day first anyway, so not a big deal. But if we scroll back and look at yesterday, this thing uh, is a monster. Uh, all the way down here from a, a little under 11 up here into the $17, $18 range. That was why we started it with a little bit smaller share size because we knew this thing had some range and it could go. So started a little bit smaller. We were um, originally using our entry based off this double top from the pre-market high. It did give us that, but then it ultimately ended up going a little bit higher, tried to break out. We were actually interested in this. Um, we wanted it through 1850, didn't quite get it, and then look at the pullback it made since then. So pretty standard here. We were looking for this area here. You can see the area uh, area of um, resistance that was used in the pre-market a couple times. That's where we were looking to take profits, and that's pretty much where we did. So when it came back up through, we had a, a inklink that uh, this was going to go towards high of day, and it did. And so pretty good trade there, not going to lie. Just a little bit on the smaller side um, based off of the range that it had. Then we went over to SAVE. We started this one before NCLH. We traded those at the same time today. Uh, started this one a little bit earlier. Was pretty happy with it. Um, not going to lie, uh, could, obviously could have got an ad up here, but we were looking for it to go up towards 17. Um, but the theory behind the ads are he, that we made a high and we came down, we tried to break this candle. So that was where I was looking to get my ad, looking for this to be the backside. We obviously had our previous resistance right here where I have the line and we were looking for at least that to touch and obviously looking for view app and uh, underneath that possibly even this previous resistance here under 16 for the rest of it. Um, unfortunately, uh, it kind of consolidated here. We actually did get a second add in here, um, which actually doubled our share size because I liked, if you see the top of this candle, it goes right uh, to this area here, which is the high of day from yesterday and rejects. So I was pretty happy knowing uh, I could get an add in here and we're just risking high of day. At this point, I'm committed to high of day being our stop. And as you can see, we ended up getting the breakdown right to that previous resistance. We ended up taking most of our position off there and it decided to kind of fake us out a little bit. Um, 
uh, ultimately it did end up doing what we thought it was going to do over here, but not before kind of coming down and trying some new lows first. But uh, yeah, it looks like a standard bullish type pattern. You know, you get the test, uh, finding support right in this area here, tested it multiple times, started making higher lows, and we started to U up. So that was why I exited the position. It did go a little higher there. Um, it tried a couple times actually, and then finally failed off, tried new lows, and now it's back up at at the highs. So NCLH is going to look a little similar at the beginning of the trade. And then it kind of did something different, um, towards the end of our trade. But then as you can see, it's still mimicking, uh, pretty much the same thing. The cruise lines and the airlines are kind of doing the same thing today, but this one, uh, previous resistance here at 1550 got the nice extension up pretty much top tick this thing. Same thing. Uh, we got this candle here, look to add as it broke this candle, got our add in, came down, flushed right to that previous resistance, took off 75%, looking to hold the rest as long as we could. And then we just started trailing our stop, uh, pretty much at every kind of new, low that was formed, right? So we were using this candle here, 1744. As you can see, the high of this candle was 1743.96. So we put it at 1744, figuring if it wanted to, and, and we saw this bottoming tail in here and some more volume coming in. So it's usually a sign that a reversal is coming. And as you can see, we we're right. So I'm pretty happy with the exit there. Uh, what, can't complain. Three for three. Um, had another decent day today. Gonna just keep on chopping back, and that's all we can do. So don't forget Friday night live stream. I've mentioned it enough. We're gonna be talking about the giveaway. Two thousand subs, guys. Thank you so much for that. We'll be talking more about that throughout the live streams tonight, tomorrow, and all throughout next week about the giveaway. And there's gonna be a lot of good stuff. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And have a good weekend, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you aren't subscribed, hit it. Um, it really supports the channel. I appreciate that. The like buttons. If you hit the like button, it really encourages me to keep doing these Amazon giveaways. They're not directly correlated. YouTube, they're not directly correlated. But every time I see that like button hit, it influences me to make that gift card just a little bit higher in price. So the one today was $20. That was about where the I, what I saw out of you guys. So the more, more likes we can get, the higher that gift card will be for next week. So smash it. Smash it. Again, not directly correlated to YouTube. It's not. I'm just saying, hey, I like the like button getting hit. I want to give them more money back for doing it as a thank you. So that's it. See you guys. Peace.